So this presentation will be about the ancient Almecs of South America. And all of the artifacts that will be presented in this video belong to the Almecs, with the exception of a few that I'll be using for comparison. So there have been a total of 17 Almec heads that have been found in South America. And the Almecs are known as the first civilization of America. And the archaeological evidence shows us that the Almecs were in the Americas as early as 8000 BC. So that would be 10,000 years ago. So the first Almec head to be discovered in South America was found in 1862 by a man named Jose Medga. He would later publish two papers describing his discovery of the Almec head along with various other artifacts that belong to the Almecs. And in his papers, he stated, and I quote, that the Almecs were a Negro race. And at the end of this video, I'll show you some of the artifacts that were found by Jose in 1862. And one of the most important things that the Almecs ever did was cultivating and producing rubber. The Almecs were making rubber balls 3,000 years before Goodyear came out with its first set of tires. In fact, the name Almec means rubber people. So the rubber tree was so important to them that they called themselves the rubber people. Now the interesting thing about the rubber tree is that it's native to Brazil. And the Almecs, who were called rubber people, are the ones who brought the rubber tree to Mexico. But we know that the fact that the rubber tree comes from Brazil, this tells us that before the Almecs came to Mexico, they were in Brazil. And that's why it's no coincidence that the oldest pyramids in the world are found in Brazil. This is a 5,000-year-old pyramid in Brazil that was clearly built by the Almecs. And I want to be clear about something before moving forward. According to historians who have documented the ancient civilizations of South America, they claim that the Almecs came first and then they somehow disappeared and then the Mayans came after the Almecs, then they somehow disappeared, and then the Aztecs came after the Mayans. And this is the order given by historians. So these civilizations have been divided in three separate groups, and this would imply that they were three separate civilizations. But this would be an incorrect assumption, because the people known as the Almecs, the Mayans, and the Aztecs were all the same people. All three of them produced rubber, all three of them made the same rubber balls, and all three of them played the same ancient ball game. In fact, thousands of years ago, when the Almecs, the Mayans, and the Aztecs were making rubber balls in South America, the ancient Egyptians of Africa also had rubber balls, and they used them to play multiple sports. So as you can see, we have on the left two dwarfs being displayed on an ancient Almec temple in South America. And on the right, the same two dwarfs can be found on Hindu temples all over Asia. And the majority of the archaeological evidence that belong to the Almecs of South America are almost identical to the ancient artifacts that can be found at Hindu Buddhist temples all over Asia. So we can connect the Almecs to various parts of Asia, like Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, India, Vietnam, China, the Philippines, Cambodia, because all of these locations in Asia have the rubber tree, the very same rubber tree that came from South America in Brazil, the very same rubber tree that was cultivated by the Almecs thousands of years ago. So we can see the migration patterns of the Almecs, who were known as the rubber people, by studying the migration patterns and the history of the rubber tree. So there have been several masks that have been found that belong to the Almecs in Mexico. So on the right, we have an Almec mask, and to the left, we have a mask found in North America and one found in Canada. And there are various types of masks that African people use. Um, there are ancestral masks, funeral masks, or death masks. Um, ritual masks. So there are various forms with various functions. But the creation and the use of the mask is indeed an African tradition. So here's the back of an Almec head. 
and all of the lines on the back of the head are an ancient script used by the Almecs. And the same script can be found on the Ogham Pillar in Alberta, Canada. And the Ogham script is almost identical to the ancient cuneiform language. Now, some of you will remember the Almec heads in Alberta, Canada that Aaron Abraham took pictures of. These Almec heads are in the same location in Alberta, Canada that we find the Ogham Pillar. So we have two separate archaeological sites, one in Mexico and one in Canada. Both places connect the Almec people to the Ogham script. We have the Almec head in Mexico with the Ogham script on the back of the head. And we have the Almec heads in Canada with the Ogham pillar in the same location. And the Ogham script is very similar to cuneiform, which is an African language. So this also shows us that the Almec territory was not just in South America, but it also stretched all through North America, all the way to Canada. And this is no surprise because all of South America, North America, and Canada are all one landmass. The presence of the Almecs in Canada is so important because the remains of the Clovis civilization in North America were thought to be the oldest known remains in all of America, dating to be roughly 11,000 years old. And then we have the 9,600 year old remains that were found in Brazil. So genetic testing was done of the 9,600 year old remains found in Brazil and of the Clovis civilization remains found in North America. And the genetic testing proved that the Clovis people and the people inhabiting Brazil were genetically the same. So we know that the Almecs were the most ancient people inhabiting Brazil. This is where they got their rubber tree from. This is why they were called the rubber people. So this means that 10,000 years ago, the same civilization that was living in Brazil was also living in North America. And as I said in the beginning of this video, the Almecs were here 10,000 years ago. So the reason that the presence of the Almecs in Canada is so important is because archaeologists have recently discovered evidence in Canada of what is now classified as the oldest known civilization ever known to exist in the Americas. The evidence dates to 24,000 years ago. And when we see these ancient Almec heads in Canada, I think it's safe to say that the Almecs were probably the original inhabitants of Canada as well. So all of this evidence collectively indicates that the Almecs were not only the first civilization known to exist in South America, but they are also the oldest known civilization to exist in North America and Canada as well. Now, it's a common theme amongst Caucasian historians to classify the same race of people as separate civilizations, giving them place names. One example of that is the Chavan civilization. So the Chavan people were an ancient civilization in South America, and all you have to do is study their artifacts and all of the archaeological evidence of the Chavan people to see that they belong to the same race of the Almec, Mayan, and Aztec people. Yet for some reason, Caucasian historians have given all of these civilizations different names as if to indicate that they were a separate people. Another good example of the same race given multiple titles is this artifact here. So when I originally seen this artifact, I had assumed that this was a Mayan artifact. But this is actually classified as an Almec artifact. Once again, showing the similarities between the Almecs and the Mayans. But even more interesting is that if you compare this Almec artifact to the so-called native people of North America, you will see that they look exactly alike. And if we go to Alberta, Canada, once again, we see what is classified as the Badlands Guardian. And this is actually called by geologists a natural geological formation. So I personally don't agree that this is a natural geological formation, because if you look at this so-called natural formation in Canada, and you compare that to the Almec head in South America, and the heads of the natives in North America, you can clearly see that you're looking at the same image, once again in South America, North America, and Canada. So the Almecs were everywhere. And we know that the Almecs and the first people who inhabited South America were from Kush. 
because they built pyramids just like the step pyramids in Kush, and they also built H-block pyramids just like the H-block pyramids found in Kush. So if you look at the H-block pyramids of South America, there are archaeologists who differ on the dating of this city. Some archaeologists claim that the H-block pyramids in South America are 4,000 years old. And if that's true, then that means that the H-block pyramids in South America were built thousands of years before the H-block pyramids in Kush. Because the H-block pyramids in Kush were supposedly built 2,700 years ago. So that would make the H-block pyramids in South America much older. And this could explain why all of the pyramids that can be found in South America are much older than the ones found in Africa. So if we study all of the ancient black civilizations of Africa and the Americas, it becomes clear that the same race of people who were inhabiting Africa in ancient times were also inhabiting the Americas. The similarities between these black civilizations who were separated by thousands of miles could be called a coincidence. And this would be a correct statement to call it a coincidence because the original meaning of the word coincidence is to be exact in substance and nature. And when we look at the ancient Egyptians and Kushites and the Mayans and Aztecs and the Almecs, they were indeed exact in substance and nature. So the tree of life, for example, was shown by virtually every ancient black civilization of the world. The Mayans, the Aztecs, the Almecs, the Egyptians, the Sumerians, including all of the ancient black inhabitants of Asia as well. And there are various forms of the tree of life. On the right, we have an ancient Egyptian tree of life showing birds in a tree. And the birds represent the souls of the dead. And to the left, we have an ancient Aztec tree of life showing the birds in the tree as well. And just like the ancient Egyptians, the birds in the tree represent the souls of the dead. So I just want to let everyone know that I'll be leaving several links in the description box. I'll leave links for two different series that I've completed already. The Mayans were Egyptians and the Celts Vikings and the Druids were Sumerians. Because both of these series that I've presented and the evidence presented in this video collectively shows that the black races were in the Americas thousands of years ago. I'll also leave links for two albums that I've created. One will be all of the images that I've used in the making of this video and the other will be an album that I've created showing the ancient black races of Asia. I'll also leave a link for a video that I created a while ago called The Origins of Chinese People because it shows a little bit about the original black races of Asia and the origins of the modern Chinese race today. This video, however, can only be viewed in the United States because it's been banned everywhere else in the world. So if you're outside of the United States, you won't be able to see that video. So I'll end this video by showing you guys two sets of images. The first set of images will be of the Almecs without their signature helmets and the various headdresses that they wore. So these ancient Almec artifacts that show us the Almecs without their helmets and the various headgear that they wore. The Almecs were showing us that they were of the black and brown races of the world. And again, I will leave all of these images in a link in the description box. And this is my favorite image out of all of them because it shows just how black the Almecs were. And the Mayans and the Almecs, just like the Egyptians and the Kushites, showed themselves as being various shades of black and brown. So I'll end this video by showing you some of the Almec artifacts that were discovered by Jose Medgar in 1862. These are the artifacts that led Jose Medgar to classify the Almecs as a Negro race. And I wanted to show you some of these artifacts up close 
so that you could clearly see the African features of these artifacts that belong to the Almecs of South America. One of the artifacts to the right, as you can see, is a coiled snake. And I've compared the coiled snakes of the Almecs and the coiled snakes of the native people of North America to the coiled snakes still made to this day in Mali, Africa by the Dogon tribe.